If your doctor has told you you have stage four colon cancer, uh, basically he or she is telling you that there is evidence that the cancer has spread outside the colon and outside of the lymph nodes in the region of the colon cancer. We also call this distant spread. Um, this is most frequently is seen in the liver with colon cancer, although metastases can also occur in essentially any other part of the body. Um, the most frequent other than liver would be lymph nodes in the abdomen. Uh, inside the abdomen itself or what we call the peritoneum um, or in the lungs. Lung metastases are somewhat more common for patients who have rectal cancer compared to patients who have cancer of the colon. Stage 4 colon cancer is much harder to cure than stage 3 colon cancer and for some patients unfortunately if the disease has spread to many places or there are many spots of colon cancer, the disease cannot be cured and treatment is aimed at other things like prolonging life or trying to improve the symptoms associated with cancer. For some patients, for example, those who have a few spots confined to either the liver or the lungs, surgical therapy is appropriate and can sometimes be curative. For the majority of patients with stage 4 disease, chemotherapy and what are called biologic therapies would be the mainstays of therapy. Chemotherapy drugs are intravenous drugs aimed at damaging DNA or other components of cells that are present both in normal and cancerous cells. Chemotherapy works because of differences between normal and cancerous cells, but also have effects on the normal cells. Biologic therapies or targeted therapies try to exploit abnormalities in the cancer that, that are not existent in the normal tissues and sometimes can have better side effect profiles. But for colon cancer, chemotherapy still remains our most effective type of therapy and the biologic therapies tend to perhaps help chemotherapy but cannot be substituted for chemotherapy altogether yet. The main types of chemotherapies we use for colon cancer when it is metastatic include 5-fluorouracil or its oral, um, oral substitute capecitabine, um, oxaliplatin, and irinotecan. Um, sometimes these are used in combination. Uh, common combinations include 5-fluorouracil plus oxaliplatin, which your doctor may call Fulfox, or 5-fluorouracil and arenotecan, which your doctor might call Fulfiri. Very often these drugs are given together with one of the biologic agents called Bevacizumab. Bevacizumab is an antibody that has been designed to stop the tumors from producing a growth factor called VEGF, V-E-G-F. Uh, VEGF is a substance that allows the tumor to make new blood vessels and we believe that stopping the tumor from making VEGF or, or getting rid of the VEGF uh, can help the chemotherapy be more effective uh, in, in treating the cancer. Another type of therapy that is a biologic therapy is aimed at something called the epidermal growth factor receptor or EGFR. Uh, there are two antibodies that have been designed to block EGFR. Uh, EGFR is again something that some cancers are dependent on. It's what's called a growth factor. So if, if the EGFR is active in a cancer, it is telling the cancer cells to grow, to divide, to live instead of die, and blocking that signal can sometimes stop the growth and even cause the cancer cell to die. The drugs that target EGFR include cetuximab and panitumumab. Those drugs also are often given along with one of the more traditional chemotherapies I described before, such as irinotecan or oxaliplatin. 
Many patients with stage 4 disease will remain on chemotherapy for a long time. Um, survival of patients with metastatic colon cancer has consistently improved since the late 1990s as we've had more and more drugs approved for treatment of this condition. Some patients even live many years with metastatic colon cancer uh, that, that has not been removed surgically. Often treatments are given in sequence. For example, your physician might give you one combination of chemotherapy for some time. When he or she finds evidence that that combination is no longer controlling your cancer, he or she might switch you to a different combination. And th there are several possibilities or what we call lines of therapy. You may also wish to, wish to ask your doctor about the possibility of treatment breaks because patients who have done very well with a particular type of chemotherapy may put their cancer into enough of a remission that stopping chemotherapy for some period of time is reasonable. Although for the most part, patients with stage four cancer tend to stay on chemotherapy more often than not throughout the course of their disease.